to my kitchen. My name is Lisa Bose and I'm here to talk about mangoes today. This is going to be a very short video on how to cut and prepare these really luscious Atalfa champagne mangoes that are available right now at Whole Foods and at Sprouts and King Supers. This morning I was there, they were 69 cents a piece. These are wonderful, buttery, the best mangoes you can get and that's probably why they call them the champagne of mangoes so stay with me and i will show you how to enjoy these lovely buttery atalfa or champagne mangoes so what i want to do is just show you how to cut an atalfa mango these are some of my favorite mangoes they're absolutely beautiful um, you have the big red ones that you can get, and they tend to be a little bit firm, but you know, this is uh, March, and we're in Colorado, and in the last week, Whole Foods and Sprouts had these, their champagne mangoes or Atalfa mangoes, and so how do you, how do you, how do you prepare them? How do you cut them? So I'm just going to show you real quick. may not be perfect, but I'm going to give you the general idea. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Some people cut down the sides. Um, but when it's a small, you know, beautiful mango like this, this is my preferred method to do it. So I start here at the stem and I insert a very, and I love these knives by the way, I get them on Amazon, they're like super cheap. And, but I like them because they have a little, little bit of flexibility and sharpen them super not sharp and uh, so you'll insert it. And what you want to do is kind of feel for the pit that's inside. So as you go around it, you will kind of feel the resistance and you're just going to slide the knife you're going to, this is actually the, the action that you're doing is you're sliding it over this pit and I'm going to show you what the pit looks like so I love these because just look how beautiful that flesh is so to get it out um, I just make a little cube so I very gently so I don't cut my hand yeah, I make uh, little crisscrosses. There we go. And here's where the magic happens. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? I just find that so beautiful. And then you'll take your super sharp, sort of flexible knife and you go along the edge like that and have these absolutely gorgeous. This one's particular. Look how beautiful that is. So what happens when you're doing these mangoes, and even with the other mango, the first side always tends to look a little better. So this is the side that I use for um, if I have to have a presentation and have pretty cubes, or I just want it to look a little bit more uniform. Okay. So we just work our way around. Very gently though, because you don't want to cut yourself. This is a super sharp knife. Yes, I am cutting toward me. Okay. So one thing to think about when you buy these, it's really easy to go, oh, they're so bright and really bright gold when you first get them. And it's it's very enticing to want to go and cut it, but it's going to be a little bit firm and it's not going to be quite ripe. And I have to have patience with this because when I'm looking for a super ripe, it actually starts looking kind of ugly. <laughs> um, it'll start looking a little... Um, a little wrinkly. You'll have kind of wrinkles on your skin. So, and that's what you want to look for. You want to wait until you get that super little wrinkly and you're really, not just you can push it and it's feeling soft like here, but really looking for some wrinkles. And that way you know you're going to get this really beautiful golden orange um, inside instead of kind of a bright yellow but firm and a little tart inside. So here's the next one. This is how we're going to do the opposite side. Take your knife and kind of just find the edge of it. And then we're going to kind of just work our way around, work away around our pit. Just take your time. This is kind of where you just start to enjoy what different fruits and vegetables feel like and look like. You can certainly get a tough mango in, I mean, or just mango frozen in the freezer and somebody else has done all this. And more than likely they're not a tough champagne mangoes. These, to me these are like the champagne of mangoes. Um, so this is what this, the, um, the pit looks like. It's kind of like a 
kind of an oval disc, a little bit thin to give you an idea. Okay, we put that aside, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to make our little cubes. and pop it open. Okay, so we have a couple that look pretty good. That's good. So then we're just going to take our knife, slide it underneath, and this is where if it's ripe it's way better because the fruit is a little wet and slippery and it's actually a little easier to come out. You're not fighting it with your knife. So yeah, so there's a nice piece. We'll use that in a in a dish as a on a a little piece of mango. The mangoes really do not need anything else. You can make a mango lassi and things like that. You can make a sauce with it, but mangoes are, are such a great fruit. Whatever the growers have been doing, they haven't been messing up the flavor too much. They've maintained the same size and beautiful consistency. And isn't that just gorgeous? So, yeah, put it on yogurt. That's one of my favorites. Put it on dairy yogurt, non-dairy yogurt. Um, you can make, I've made ice cream out of this. Make a mango gelato. It's just wonderful. It is worth the time to learn how to cut a, a champagne or an Atalfo mango. I'll put the word in the video. A-L-T-A-U-F-O. Um, it's just so much better. So enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to cut and prepare an Atalfa mango. So I do want to show you a ripe one. So, I mean a non-ripe one. Like when you get in the store, they're in a box or in a pile and they're beautiful and they're kind of super shiny and the skin is smooth. All that's telling you it's not quite ripe. Um, it doesn't have, it has a little bit, this side's a little riper as you can see, so I need to be sure and reverse them in the box. But so this is a super shiny side that's not quite ripe. Wait for it to get a few little wrinkles. Um, actually, I like to wait until it gets a lot of wrinkles. So, uh, because that way I get this really deep orange, soft, luscious, yummy nut tart. Um, cube of mango. So if you like tart mango, that's cool. Go ahead and cut this one up. It's going to be a little bit harder to get out and you're going to lose some of the flavor. I mean some of the mango flesh itself. Now some people do take the mango uh, and I've done this. I'm not wild about it, but there's a lot of fiber and a lot of uh, nutrition in the pulp. So some people do grind them up into smoothies. That's cool. I think you need to have a really super great blender to do that. I've done that. I'm, I'm particularly not wild about it. Um, so I may, off camera, scrape a little more of this off just to make sure I get all the flesh. But I have some really nice cubes to work with here. Um, and then the other kind of tip is some people are allergic to the peel. So they may not be allergic to mango, but um, they may be allergic to the peel. So if you're eating, uh, working with mangoes or, or, you know, chewing on this or something and you start getting a little itchy around the face, um, it's probably, you might be allergic to the mango peel. So thanks for joining me today on a quick video on how to cut up a catalfa mango. Uh, what I do after I cut them is then I put them into uh, little pieces of uh, glad press and seal and then I will put them, lay them into a, a baking sheet and then freeze them flat. They freeze beautifully. They maintain their texture, um, their color, and you can use them then for different sorts of things. You can add them to a baked dish, you can use them in a salad, you can make a puree, make a custard, a gelato, or really just eat them and enjoy them. So thanks for joining me today. Be sure and look at my other videos on maybe how to cook French lentils, add umami to a dish. Um, there's some mushroom stir fries out there. A lot of plant, primarily plant-based um, recipes and techniques. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Ooh.